What's your I can't believe other people don't do this hack? I have a keyboard shortcut on all my devices where it automatically enters my email address. Edit, on an iPhone you set it up by going to settings, general, keyboard, text replacement. I keep one of those dish cleaning wands you fill with soap in my shower. It's filled with Dawn soap and vinegar. I scrub my shower walls and tub basically every other shower, just while I'm in there. It takes less than 2 minutes and I never have to clean my tub slash shower otherwise. About 2x slash year I'll do a comet tub clean scrub, but I can't even see slash tell a difference, it's mostly just for peace of mind. Keep a camping chair in your trunk. You never know when an opportunity for a good sit might arise. Two color match 10 pounds flower bouquets combined are normally more varied and bigger than a 20 pounds bouquet. Using sturdy trash bags in camping and outdoor activities. It's the most advanced cheap material there is. You can use it as backpack liner, as rain cover, as poncho, as sitting pad, can transport water with it, use it as extra shopping bag it's so versatile, and so lightweight. And more sturdy construction grade trash bags are not that loud and quiet sturdy. 5 minutes rule. If it takes less than 5 minutes, do it right when you think about it. Flip laundry, respond to an email you left in the inbox, load dishwasher, change that bulb in the vanity you've been looking at forever etc. Learn all the keyboard shortcuts you can use regularly. Do favors for tomorrow you. Car getting low on gas? Do tomorrow you a favor and get it on the way home. It's almost bedtime but there are dishes in the sink? Do them as a favor to your future self. While you're at it, get tomorrow's clothes together and get your lunch packed when you're not rushed. Tomorrow you will love you for it. And, when today you is enjoying all the things that yesterday you did to make your life easier, remember to thank yourself for doing it. I know it sounds silly, but this really helped motivate me in getting stuff done promptly instead of at the last moment. Storing things in airtight containers. I spent a lot of money on mine, so I get why people can't do it, but I've moved a lot and some of the places had bugs, which I've been able to prevent carrying along with me. Honestly I was pretty poor when I started doing this. Bought stuff bit by bit. Set nightly do not disturb hours on your phone, mine is 11p, 7a. You can allow notifications from favorite contacts like spouse, children, et al. Do I need or do I want? If I need it, I get it. If I want it, I wait for a few weeks, do some research, see if I can fit it in and if I still want it a month or two later then I might go get it. Turns out my wants are not always there after a while waiting. It's new for me but has changed my mindset drastically. I use Ziploc bags in my junk drawer. It's not organized, it's just a handful junk filled bags. It makes looking through the junk easier. Instead of shifting through a bunch of junk and loose items I'll pick up a bag and inspect it for something I'm looking for. Junk bags inside a junk drawer. For household essentials, buy more than you need right away. Example, I have two packs of toilet paper rolls. One is now, and I store it in the bathroom. The other is later, and I store it in a closet. When now is empty, I get out later. Later becomes the new now, and next time I go shopping, I buy a replacement later. That way, I very rarely run out of anything. I struggle with cleaning, but what I tend to do so I don't get overwhelmed is write out a list numbered 1 to 20 of tasks I need to complete. I break it up into small pieces. And then I roll a d20 die to pick tasks off the list, it removes the overwhelm of deciding where to start and it keeps me on task so I'm not bouncing between 5 different tasks at once. I also usually add things like drink water or check laundry if I don't have a full 20 things to complete. I can't motivate myself to clean long periods, so I've recently started playing turn-based, or periodic games. At the end of every turn I'll get up and do 5 minutes of cleaning. Then I can spend a day off playing games, but the house gets tidier instead of worse. Googling my problems. Like, seriously, it's 2024. How hard is it? When handing someone their change, give them the coins before the bills. This allows them to hold the coins in their palm while using their fingers for the bills. Otherwise, they have to do this careful balancing act before they pocket the money. Rinsing your dishes and tableware immediately after use when the food gunk is still wet and washes away easily. Rather than waiting for it to become cement. I am shocked at the number of people that don't put their sheet sets in the matching pillowcase for storage until use. It keeps it all together. I hate cleaning but whenever I leave a room I try to take something with me. It might be a piece of garbage, a dish or an item that needs to be put away. It goes a long way to keeping things tidy without any real effort. Clean out your fridge before grocery shopping. Eliminates mystery Tupperware and always reminds you of something you need to pick up. When tech stops working and you need to turn it off and back on again, turn it off, and always wait 10 to 15 seconds or more before turning it back on. This allows the capacitors inside holding the memory bits to fully discharge, and it allows the device to fully reset fresh. Buy her just because flowers. Seriously, apology gifts always have the stank of the original mistake all over them, just because gifts actually make her smile every time she looks at them and not think of the dumb thing I did. Edit because apparently you can't talk about a nice thing you do without people attempting to make you feel like crap for no good reason, this post is not gender exclusive or exclusive to just your partner. I can't believe I'm typing this. How do people not put their phone on silent before a nap? Like wake up to silence not a notification party. Put salt and pepper on their burger patties. I swear I have the same conversation every time I host a cookout. Your burgers always taste so good. Salt and pepper. How did you learn to make them? 
I put a little salt and pepper on them before cooking. I could never get my burgers to taste right. Have you tried salt and pepper? Edit okay, this resonated with Redditors more than I expected. Thanks for all your tips. Rest assured that I have tried all of them. Garlic powder, onion powder, various pre-made spice mixes, olive oil, Worsh's Everquistashire sauce. I even put an egg in a batch once because someone said it would hold them together better. I like salt and pepper on fresh beef. Obviously it comes down to personal preference, but I find simple recipes are often the best. I take a quick photo of where I park my car in large parking lots. Saves so much time wandering around looking lost. Surprisingly many people don't notice there's a little arrow on your vehicle's gas gauge that points to the side the tank is on. I see people doing wild mental math trying to figure out tips. If you move the decimal one place to the left you have 10% double that for 20%, divide it by 2 and add it to the original number for 15%. You can get 1% by moving the decimal 2 to the left and multiply that by any number to get that percentage. Edit, damn people, no need to get so aggressive, it's a math tip that helps me, I'm not telling you how to tip, or even commenting on tipping in society, just math.